Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. So this movie deals with a lot of issues that are currently happening in society, such as stereotyping. Um, Tell me about it. Right. So what are your thoughts on everything that's going on with the police and African-American males and all of that. You know, it's funny, right? Because a cop kills a kid, makes headlines all across the world. And, you know, granted, you know, this this has been going on for, you know, years now. Mm -hmm. Not to call cops kid killers, but, you know, yeah. it just, it happens. Mm -hmm. And basically what I'm saying is it's not my first time hearing that kind of story. And, and I look at it like, you got black people killing each other every day, actually outnumbering the deaths of the police versus, you know, urban people. You're right. It's actually internal. And I look at it like, man, why should I sit here and glorify some media hype about police and all this other stuff when in all reality, man, the problem is internal. It's within right. ourselves, man, you know? so. For me, I don't have the answers. I'm not sway, you know? So <laughs> I, I, you ain't got the answers, sway. <laughs> I just look at it like, man, what I'll do is just try to, you know, be the best individual I could be, set set a certain type of presence. Oh, you jealous, ugly bitches? You know what? This is very perky on my ass. Instagram today, leaving these bitches. Because I'm a boss. Uh. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about ASAP Rocky, T.I., and Joe Button. And I want to give a little bit of a background on ASAP Rocky. Now, he is very known for saying some very ignorant comments towards or about black women. And also some very ignorant comments towards the pro-black movement, Black Lives Matter. So when it comes to this situation, I'm really trying to find understanding of why he may have said some of the most ignorant things, because I feel like that is kind of being overlooked. So I took a look at his past. I took a look at his childhood and things that I found. So first things first, his dad went to jail at the age of 12 for selling drugs. And then his brother was murdered in the streets of Harlem and it was a black on black crime type situation. So when it comes to ASAP Rocky, some of the things that he has stated in his interviews, which in no way am I agreeing, but sometimes ignorance is just the lack of knowledge, lack of knowing any better. So when he gives his interviews or when he has stated some very ignorant comments towards black women and black lives matter, it's just a lack of knowledge. Now, when it comes to the recent events that he's dealing with in his life, this whole Sweden incident, I think it's a learning experience for him. I think like this is a wake up call for him. Like sometimes in life, because we lack the experiences, we don't truly understand. So can we really fault him for that? Now, when it comes to black women, I can understand and I'm definitely on the side of black women who really don't care to feel any sort of sympathy for him because he lacked that for us when we found an issue with what he said about dark skinned women wearing red lipstick or purple lipstick because black women are always under attack when it comes to beauty standards. You know, it's never good enough. So if he couldn't understand that, and it's crazy because he has a sister. He's a beautiful brown skinned girl. And he made statements like that, you know? And the self-hate when it comes to some of these black men, it's so real and it's so evident and it's so clear and it's so visible, but they will deny it, you know? Because they don't see an issue with it. It, it takes stepping outside of yourself to be able to see something like that. So when it comes to this experience that he's going through right now, it's a learning experience for him. And when it comes to learning experiences that life wants to give you, you have no control over life lessons and life experiences that life wants to give you. You have no control over that. And he's experiencing that right now. I do want to talk about what actually happened. 
because I do have my own opinions on this situation and I'm going to be stating them throughout this video. I'm not saving it for the end, you guys. I'm going to be stating it throughout this video because I want to give my opinion on T.I. and Joe Budden as well. So let's actually take a look at what actually happened and why he, ASAP Rocky, has found himself in this situation. How did he get to this point? How did he even get here? Let's talk about it. So this whole situation started with ASAP Rocky's entourage being harassed, followed, and it escalated to where headphones were thrown and then it became a physical altercation, right? And what I'm not understanding is if ASAP Rocky hires security, hired security, why is he engaging in this physical altercation? It just doesn't make any sense. When you are paying, you are paying for security. And the reason that these celebrities hire these security guards is because they don't want the celebrity to be in a situation where they're liable, where situations like this can occur. So now that ASAP Rocky inserted himself instead of allowing his security to do the job that he hired them for, he inserted himself into a situation where now he's liable. Another thing, when it comes to situations like this, I have been in situations like this where I felt like I was being treated racially and what I mean by racially, uh, just racially harassed. I've been in situations where a racist person has taunted me. I experienced this last year on the 4th of July. And the number one thing that I learned from the altercation was because I'm black and because my skin does not have white privilege, how I react to the person, to the racist white person who is harassing me or I'm, I'm going through or, or I'm experiencing racism, how I react is so crucial. Because the number one thing that I learned from last year on the 4th of July when I had a similar experience to ASAP Rocky, how you react to what they're doing can be the difference between you being the victim, them being the victim. It is crucial. And this is something that's not really being taught. How you react as a black person, how you react, this white person could be racist and taunting you harassing you and all of these things but how you react is the difference between you being the victim or them being the victim and in this case when it comes to white privilege asap rocky the way he reacted he got physical he is no longer the victim because of the color of his skin and these are things that we talk about but he is oblivious to because he feels that his money is so long that it will erase his skin color. It would erase any stereotype that society likes to label black men. Now, this is all speculation, you guys. I don't know if they were harassing his entourage because they were black. We really don't know. You know, there's so many different stories that's going around, rumors going around of why they were being followed by these people while being in Sweden, walking down the street, minding their own business, walking down the street while black. This type of stuff happens to us all the time. I don't like the fact. How long ago was that, though? That was some years ago, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a while ago. I don't what like was Ferguson. I don't... What year was Ferguson? 15, maybe? 15, 16. We can look some of this stuff. Yeah. Hey, but fam, we cannot keep sounding stupid when that happens. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, I don't like that this is coming up now. Uh, I don't. I don't think it adds anything to the narrative, uh, nor does it change how I feel. And if it mm. changes how you feel, then you should look inside your heart. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to get into this. Was however many years ago people change? X, 2014. Y, 2014. Yeah. Ferguson. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to get into this was however many years ago people change. Uh, we don't know where. I'm not getting into any of that. Uh, he's in a real fucked up situation over there. How I feel about that is not altered by how he feels about anything. Yeah. Mm. If, if, any, if any of my uh, peers, friends, 
if a stranger were in that, I don't. That's so nasty on Twitter. I, I saw. I seen that going around. Just like you, you niggas that be preaching this this pro black shit, but get evil in a heartbeat. Woo! Oh yeah, it's all fake. Woo! Like I thought the ASAP Rocky sounded like a fucking idiot when he said this. Mm -hmm. I also think he's in a really horrible jam and predicament. I'm certain some of these feelings aren't existing right now. Right. Mm. And that's, like and, that's and that's fine. Like, it's only you fucking idiots that just won't allow life to teach us right. sometimes. Right. Like, why we can't just let life happen for people? Why we just always got to be public judge, jury, and like, no, come on, this is not the time. It's just bad timing. The timing of it is just tasteless is what I'm saying. So if that's where your focus is, you should look inside of your heart. And see why your heart is there right now. Why do you lack compassion uh, because somebody else said some shit? Mm. Like how other niggas, what's up, what's in other people's heart, don't dictate what's in mine. That's, I guess, that's what I'm saying. And uh now I saw the clip that's going viral of Joe expressing his feelings towards the pro-black movement and black women on Twitter and how he's upset that we're not rallying up behind ASAP Rocky and defending him and exhausting our resources to help him and and it's funny to me because it seems like the only time people care about black issues especially celebrities is when they find themselves in a situation that oh, their money can't get them out of because even in his podcast he was like up oh, asap rocky he's rich up oh, he'll be fine so i'm sorry if us regular people us regular folk don't want to exhaust our resources over a person who broke the law in another country he broke the law everyone knows that when you travel abroad when you travel outside of the country you got to be on your best behavior who doesn't know that but again ignorance the lack of knowledge asap rocky this whole experience that he's going through right now is a lesson he thought he was above the law there because of his money so i'm sorry if we aren't running to his defense exhausting our resources that we had to work our asses off for because when it comes to the injustice in this country with black people i don't see joe budden really funding any of it he really doesn't do much for us so for him to sit there and say what he said it's like who are you and when it comes to Joe Budden, his approach is so off. It's contradicting. It doesn't make any sense. We can make this about dark skinned women and lipstick, but it's bigger than that. Some of us have used our resources, our platforms to speak on these issues. And the only time you want to chime in is because your little homie is in jail because he broke the law. That don't make sense to me. So I don't agree with anything that he had to say in his little podcast and the way that he attacked black people. Don't ever think that we're going to lift a finger to help you either because you're not really down for the cause. It's only when it benefits you, benefits the people in your circle. You really don't care. So, of course, T.I. chimed in on this whole situation and he had some good points but sometimes when it comes to T.I., I can never tell if he's really for the people or if he's just doing it to stay relevant. <laughs> you know, like if he's just doing it to get higher ratings for his show, you never really know anymore. Like you can never really tell. However, he did make sense when he speaks on this situation. Like he, he makes a lot of sense. And, you know, basically he was saying that when it comes to ASAP Rocky, this is a learning experience for him. And he is, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how ASAP Rocky moves forward after this whole experience. ASAP Rocky, before this situation, he was asked about Black Lives Matter back in 2015. And ASAP Rocky was asked about his views on the Black Lives Matter movement. Then he made a statement saying at the time that his stance was he felt unmoved to offer an opinion let alone action reasoning 
And his response was, so every time something happens because I'm black, I got to stand up. What the F am I? Al Sharpton now? I am ASAP Rocky. I did not sign up to be no political activist. It's really going to be interesting to see if he feels those shoes moving forward due to this experience. So when it comes to T.I. and some of the things that he stated, I can ag- I can agree, but I can never tell if it's genuine with T.I. because he likes to stay relevant through these political activist movements. So I really don't know, but I'm going to give T.I. the benefit of the doubt because at the end of the day, he does have a form of influence when it comes to the black community. And we need that. We need an influence that is not only positive, but also is educational. And T.I. does do that from time to time. The man is smart. You got to give him his credit. Okay. He's smart. So that's all that I have regarding this video. I would love your opinion on this situation, you guys. So please comment down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload and I'll catch you in my next one.